Thanks for coming out on a kind of blustery day. But uh, what we're talking about here is essential. The voice of the people is what should drive and shape the public policy in Washington, in this nation, anywhere. It is the essential piece of our system of government that the voice of the people guides. And, and it was essential in this recent vote for I-976 in favor of $30 car tabs that the voice of the people told Olympia, stop. You're taxing too much. You're spending too much. The time has come for some rectitude, for some restraint, for the system of government here in Olympia to be humble, to be modest, and to protect those essential features that we all agree we need and want. In the terms of transportation, the maintenance and preservation of our state's roads and bridges, and transit services to, to, to specific high needs individuals, and the ability of all of us to go back and forth around our state on, on a day like this, when it's starting to snow, to keep those roads open and clear and able to be uh, driven on. This is, this is the essential value that our transportation system provides the people of Washington. And that we want to protect. But a, a creeping agenda of other sorts of projects and using taxpayer money for, for things that aren't related to the essential infrastructure is what the people of Washington have spoken up about. What they've told us is we want to keep our roads and bridges and basic services in place, but we don't want that creep, that continuing add, add, add of cost, of overhead, of projects that are pet projects, but not necessarily serving the good of all Washingtonians. The people of Washington said in I-976, enough. They said, Olympia, go back, do a gut check, tighten your belt, find efficiencies, and make do with the resources that you have now. And this, is, this goes beyond just transportation. You know this. You know this. Do you feel like you're taxed enough already? Yeah. Do you feel that Olympia and the state government needs to do more with the amount they have and no more taxes? Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like this is a chance to, to affect some other good ends, to make our government in Olympia more transparent and more accountable? Yes! Thanks. <laughs> do, do, do you feel that, that if we do these things, you will end up with the government you want, which is one that gives you basic services, but doesn't interfere with your basic household income. Do you want that? Do you want to be left alone but receive the services that are essential? Absolutely! That was a wordy one. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean. You know what we're talking about here. We're at the place in the growth of our state government where, where we are reaching the tipping point for working families, for, for young people just starting out out of school, for people looking to, to buy their first house, uh, to have their first child, we're starting to get to the place where those markers of good life, of good middle class life, are harder and harder for regular people to achieve. That's right. And we need, thank you, and we need to, to just take a break in Olympia. We need to, to think in Olympia about those working people who, who just want to live a good life. They just want to have the basics uh, of, of things and, and, and of qualities and experiences that, that all American people want, all Washingtonians want. But they don't want to have ambitious agendas 
foist it on them, and they especially don't want to have to pay for those agendas. Because essential services are what the best government is about. And essential services are what transparent government is about. And essential services are what humble and modest government is about. You know, we're not here to take apart the government in the state. We are here to make it work better for working people. That's what we want to achieve here. And I think we can do that. I, I think we have so much in this state that's wonderful. We have so much wealth in this state, whether it's industry, whether it's natural resources, whether it's the people, the, the human resources of this state. They're fantastic. And all we have to do is get bureaucrats out of the way and let people live and work as they want to live and work. And greatness will come from that. It doesn't come from the chambers behind you here. It doesn't come from the temple of justice over there. It certainly doesn't come from all the bureaucratic headquarters across uh, Capitol Way over here. It comes from all of you. Do you want to be free? Yes. Do you want to live the life that you choose to live? Yes. And do you think you can do that and still have a good government here in Olympia? Yes. Well, I think you're right, and that's what I'm fighting for here, and that's what $30 car tabs is really about. It's bigger than car tabs. It's about the nature of government and the compact, the agreement, the contract between government and you. Yep, yep. And you are a party to that agreement. Yep. You are really the most important party to that agreement. And you are the ones who get to determine the shape and size of that agreement and what we do here. Never forget that. Don't let a court in King County tell you different. Don't let the state Supreme Court tell you different. You are the boss. You are in charge. And it's your voice and your will that directs us in Olympia. God bless you all. Keep up the fight. And don't ever lose your voice. Your voice is the most important part of our democracy. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah.